Good afternoon. Thank you for watching this edition of Sky Watchers. Many photographs showing the truth. Video footage that's come in from Jenny from the UK picking up strange anomalies through between the cloud systems. Let's check out this brand new broadcast. Now we're viewing Jenny's video footage that came in five minutes ago from Great Britain. Look at that formation again, being zoomed in by this camera, noticing the strange anomaly of a shape of a cloud system, how it's moved away from the other cloud system. What is happening here? Is this because of HARP? Is it because of CERN? Or is it some sort of cloaking technology that we're viewing on the screen of the skies of now? Now the video footage is showing to be on side view. But again, when we look at video footage and zooming into things, it is very important. People are doing this now, and that is fantastic. And thank you, Jenny, for this evidence of truth, of something else that looks so different across our skies. We have a new Skywatch statement that's come in from Jane Harrison, stating, hello, Matt. Today, yesterday, you spoke about cloak in technology. When I took these photographs, I hadn't noticed anything at first. The sun was very bright, yet a dark shadow bubble within another bubble. Thank you for presenting the truth. See, many people now are starting to notice these strange anomalies through the cloud systems. Let's check out Jane's photos. The first photograph that Jane has sent in sure does look very Important, again, what we're seeing is an interesting formation across the cloud systems. Look at this round cutting of an area of a punched out cloud system. Or is it something else that is being cloaked? There's far too many lines. Can you see the strange shape as well? Whilst Jane was zooming back as well towards the photograph, it's more apparent, isn't it? See, when we see an illumination of a white reflector in the skies or something else that is beaming differently from the golden sunlight we knew before, it's being picked up, isn't it? Carefully looking towards the heavens, we're picking up different shapes and formations. This is a brand new photograph that's coming from David from Portugal. Sky watchers from different parts of the world through the statement explaining, I have always come to this viewpoint of a horizon and noticed again there is no golden sun reflecting. It is a white torch in the skies reflecting this white strange light across the waters. See people are picking it up. People are noticing there is something different. These attachments have come in from Marcella from Philadelphia right now, no minutes ago, showing you the skies, what they are like now to this very moment in time. These are not natural cloud systems. We are seeing a change. The photography again gets sent in and through the skies, this is happening and it's a situation, isn't it? That no one is speaking out of this, but we can see clearly the evidence around us. Look at the formations here, and even on these other photographs. It isn't stopping, and it's carrying on. Veronica's photograph as well from the United States of America is picking up these strange lines all the time, pointing out to family members. See, many people still think that these are cloud systems because the news media repeat all the time, every single day, that they are just clouds that we're viewing on the screen and contrails. Now, again, being a truther and speaking out, like many other channels, like all of you sky watchers, it is frustrating because, again, we can see a difference and they're not notifying anybody and speaking out the truth towards humanity. Look at the colours as well behind the area of view site of the trees. It is a white illumination. Down below we see a thick cloaking formation from harp. Now, Veronica has zoomed back to show you as well that this is a genuine photograph. Just looking through out towards the horizons, 
We never saw this back in the days of 1999. It was a clear sky with natural cloud systems. Only by five minutes later, this formation becomes like this. This line in the skies, you can see, can't you, where they've been making the uh, markings in the skies to form this huge heart cloud formation. Now, there is that white reflection, okay, from a change for the sun. This is what they do because the sun is being affected. Now, we spoke about camera quality. When we take a photograph near to the area of view side of the sun, the camera will cause a dark photograph because of the sunlight reflecting. But if you look towards the other side of the horizons, the skies are still dark. Please observe this when we see a change of an event with the sun changing white. Now, Veronica has taken another photograph around about 3 p.m. Noticing as well, on the same day, of this line in the skies, this halo, and the golden sun that is being hidden. Why do they do this? Still though, they speak of contrails and, again, ice crystals. But why do we see many halos appearing all the time? We have a photograph from Michael from the United States of America. Now, on the view site on this graphic photograph, that is not the sun that you're noticing on the screen. Now, I've explained before that this anomaly to the right-hand side of the view site of the sun is getting bigger. It is growing in size and it's glowing like a second sun. Okay, what I've done is I've zoomed out. I'm going to move the picture, the photograph, towards the left side because it's very important to show you as well from the United States of America this glow as well from our natural sunlight that is being covered up, the colors. See, they will always use formations. Look at these lines in the background as well from the skies that we're witnessing today. To the right side again, we're picking up this um, huge glow that does look like a reflection from a second sun. That is very apparent, isn't it, on the screen? So again, just another photograph of truth from our sky watchers showing a big difference, showing a change towards our skies. Whilst taking photographs still of this strange beam of light reflecting. I mean, how can people not notice this? Because remembering from years ago, like I just mentioned then, earlier on, those beams of light towards where we see the view side of the sun weren't there before. There was nothing like this of our skies that we see of now, of 2019. NASA, never a straight answer. They will not speak out about any of these Skywatch images that we're noticing on the screen. It is a shame. Again, they know that Hercobalus is a true celestial body and it's affecting our solar system right now. Carlos Munoz Ferrada, the Chilean astronomer, he spoke about the changes that will come and it's so apparent that the changes are here across our skies. This man was a truther, an astronomer. Let's carry on now and show you more graphic footage from our sky watchers from across the world. This image is coming from Jake for the United Kingdom. He states through email he's been taking photographs of the horizons for many long years and picking up this anomaly of this second sun that is showing on the screen. What are we seeing here? What we could be viewing on the screen could be anything, but again, we've got to respect our sky watchers. Another fantastic capture, but it could be something that is apparent. Here is Jake's other photograph as well. That does look very strange, doesn't it? Because we see the glow from the sun. We see the cloud systems across the horizons and something else reflecting very strong, like a darker sun. Now we're viewing Justin's video footage from New Jersey. This video evidence was taken seven minutes ago. Looking at the color and glow of the sun 
but why are they smudging out the golden sunlight? Look at the mess and the formations across the skies. Those objects again that are moving across towards the blue skies again just to try and smudge out the truth. Now I'm going to finish this video short and I'll be back very shortly again with more information, more photographs that I'm sorting out, thousands upon thousands of images from people that need to see and demand the truth. So thank you for all the images that have been shown on this video footage and I'll be back. God bless you all from Matt Rogers.